Electronics World, Wireless World, founded in 1913, and in September 1984 renamed Electronics and Wireless World is a technical magazine in electronics and RF engineering aimed at professional design engineers. It is produced monthly in print and digital formats. The editorial content of Electronics World covers the full range of electronics and RF industry activities including technology, systems, components, design, development tools, software, networking, communications tools and instrumentation. It encompasses a range of issues in the electronics and RF industry, from design through to product implementation. The features are contributed by engineers and academics in the electronics industry. The circulation is split between electronic design engineers, senior managers, and R&D professionals within areas such as communications, manufacturing, education and training, IT, medical, power, oil and gas. History The Marconi Company published the first issue of the journal The Marconograph in April 1911. This monthly magazine was the first significant journal dedicated to wireless communication, and it circulated largely among Marconi engineers and operators. In April 1913, after two years and 24 issues, the Marconograph was superseded by The Wireless World. An illustrated monthly magazine for all interested in wireless telegraphy and telephony as its first issue was sold on news stands. Publication of Wireless World continued uninterrupted throughout World War I, and from 4 April 1920 volume. 8 No. 1 publication frequency was increased to fortnightly. From 1 April 1922 it became known as the Wireless World and Radio Review following a merger with the Radio Review, a monthly journal that had first been published in London in October 1919. With the same issue, publication frequency of Wireless World became weekly. It was also aimed at home constructors, publishing articles on building radio receivers and, after the BBC started regular 405-line TV programmes from Alexandra Palace in 1936, complete details on building your own TV set, including the winding of the high-voltage CRT deflector coils not a task for the faint-hearted. A similar series was published after 1945 utilizing the then ubiquitous EF50 RF pentode amplifier valve tube. With the outbreak of World War II and the expected shortages of paper and other resources, the publication reverted to being monthly, a frequency that it still retains to this day. The title was changed in September 1984 to Electronics and Wireless World, and from January 1996 volume 102, no 1718, to Electronics World. A sister publication was Wireless Engineer which was more of a learned journal than a popular magazine, featuring high-quality, technical articles. Topic. Notable articles Topic. Geosynchronous satellites 
In October 1945 Wireless World published what later became a famous article by Arthur C. Clarke then of the British Interplanetary Society which foresaw the coming of communication satellites in synchronous orbit around the Earth. Clarke's extraterrestrial relays article was widely credited as the origin of modern satellite communications and specifically of the geostationary earth orbit sometimes also referred to as clark's orbit in his wireless world article clark suggested that three satellites placed in the equatorial plane orbit at an altitude of 36000 kilometers spaced 120 degrees apart could provide global communications. The altitude is specifically important as here satellites rotate at the same angular velocity as the surface of the Earth, relative to the center of the Earth, appearing to be fixed at the same point above its surface, hence geostationary. In 1962 NASA launched Telstar 1, the first communications satellite. Telstar 1 lasted only six months, but this paved the way for modern day communications. There are nearly 900 active satellites in orbit today, of which some two thirds are communication satellites. Clark's article, Extraterrestrial Relays, was Electronic World Reader's most asked for article to re print in the magazine's centenary edition. The article was also featured in the BBC's The Genius of Invention program broadcast on the 7th of February 2013. Topic: <inaudible> Audio and Electronic Design. For decades, Wireless World was a place where pioneers in audio and electronic design shared ideas. In 1947–49, it published articles on building what became the famous Williamson Amplifier by DTN Williamson, using a pair of triode-connected KT-66 kinkless power tetrodes very similar to the American 6L6 in push-pull to give 15 watts output. In 1952 it made the first public announcement of the Baxendall tone control circuit, a design now employed in millions of hi-fi systems including amplifiers and effects for musical instruments. In 1955 it published the design of the popular Mullard 5-10 audio amplifier using two EL84 power pentodes in ultra-linear push-pull configuration. In the 1960s and 1970s there were many further articles on advances in audio and electronic design, notably all transistor designs including the Toby Dinsdale amplifier and the Linsley Hood power amplifier. In the December 1975 edition an article described feed forward error correction for audio amplifiers as embodied in the legendary Quad 405 current dumping power amplifier designed by Peter Walker and M. P. Albinson. In 1975 sixths Wireless World published the design of a decoder of broadcast TV teletext information before the first commercial decoder became available. Later it published regular columns of brief circuit ideas. Topic. Computers. In the August to December 1967 editions a series, Wireless World Digital Computer by Brian Crank, was published. It described how to build a very simple binary computer at home. It was constructed entirely from reject 
transistors functional, but not meeting all specifications, consequently sold cheaply, and was intended for teaching the basic principles of computer operation. In 1977 a series of articles was published based on the design of the NASCOM-1 computer, in 1979 they published a design by John Adams for a dual processor desktop computer which included a novel high-level programming language. Entitled, A Scientific Computer. It was marketed as the Sci Comp 80 in kit form by the company Powertran. Topic: Contributors. Contributors included M. G. Scroggy, who contributed articles of an educational nature on subjects such as applied mathematics and electronic theory using the pen name, Cathode Ray. Free Grid was the pseudonym of Norman Preston Vinker Minter, a classicist and ex naval wireless operator who specialized in deflating pomposity with his biting wit. Amongst the early editors was W.T. Cocking, designer of the WW television sets. The last five editors were Tom Aval, Philip Darrington, Frank Ogden, Martin Eccles, and Phil Reed. The current editor is Svetlana Josifovska. On pages 232 and 233 of the April 1961 Golden Jubilee issue, regular contributor. Free Grid speculates what the next 50 years might hold and predicts that, long before our centenary year, all positions now sacred to the male will have been taken over by women. He went on to make certain remarks in jest about the editress of 2011 that would not be acceptable today. Pat Hawker MBE, also well known for the technical topics feature he authored for exactly 50 years in the Radio Society of Great Britain's Radio Communication or Radcom magazine, contributed the regular column World of Amateur Radio from May 1969 to April 1982. An occasional contributor, Ivor Cat, sparked controversy with an article on electromagnetism in December 1978 by challenging the validity of Maxwell's displacement current. This spawned an exchange of letters to the editor which lasted for years. Topic. Online. The website contains a regular blog spot, white papers, webinars, a directory listing, guest forums, and events listings. All news is also updated on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and Google. <laughs>